damit willkommen zurück hier beim freundlichsten Papier, den ihr auch kennt. Oder auch nicht. Und zwar unseren guten, freundlichen, nach blutdurstigen Protagonist. Ich vergesse immer seinen Namen. Aber auf jeden Fall geht es weiter. Mal sehen, was wir überhaupt machen müssen. Äh, wir sind irgendwie ins Krankenhaus. Wir schauen uns auch mal ein bisschen um, damit wir irgendwelche eventuellen Informationen nicht verpassen. So, was haben wir schon ist. Influenza häufig von Lungenentzündung begleitet, bleiben Sie zu Hause, um die spanische Grippe in jedem Fall zu vermeiden. Okay, dafür ist es jetzt zu spät. Äh, ist das hier eine Sackgasse? Moment, irgendwas hier. Okay. Wir haben eine geistige Begrenzung. Also werden wir definitiv ins Krankenhaus gehen. Vielleicht hier erstmal noch ans Lazarett. Aber ich scheint nicht zu sein. Okay, beruhig dich. Wir müssen ja trotzdem uns ein bisschen informieren. Äh, hier hinten haben wir noch etwas. Ach, hier hätten wir auch hochgehen können. Okay. Dann gehen wir mal zur guten Schwester. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Ach komm, wir fragen sie gleich ein bisschen. I would like to ask a few questions first. Und dann man weiß ja nie. Uh, wo ist mein Raum? Hier ist Mr. Hampton. Oh, wir fangen einfach unten an. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Uh, It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. Ach, er ist schon da. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Okay. Thank you, Nurse Craig. Gut, also weiter geht's. Hier ist aber irgendwo drin rumgestiefelt. Ja, wer sind Sie denn? Guten Tag. Good evening, Nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea mm -hmm. made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. 
Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers, and we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses are already resigned. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about this? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Sehr kollegial. Ähm, auf jeden Fall ist mir aufgefallen, dass sie hat irgendwie gar kein Blut hier großartig dran. Ich weiß nicht, für was sie zuständig ist. Äh, aber wollen wir... Details. Medizinisch und was ist das denn eigentlich? Ach so. Ah. Okay. Is there anyone that stands out? Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Sehr gut, also haben wir neuen Hinweis. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No, I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Sehr sozial, sehr sozial diese Frau. Ja, was haben wir noch? Ne, hier war noch schon, oder? Ja. Gut, frage noch ein bisschen was Persönliches. Okay, brauchst du den Hinweis noch. Goodbye, Nurse. Genau. Wenn Sie Hilfe brauchen, einfach Bescheid sagen. Das wird dann immer schön ist. Glas Viole. Ach, hier schläft noch jemand. Ups. Okay. Achso. Scheint tot zu sein. Scheint alle tot zu sein. Unbekannt, okay. Was? Ja. Yeah. Können wir mit ihm reden? Ja. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war, and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Oh, so good. Um, Persönlich fragen ist bestimmt alles gesperrt. Ja. Jetzt gehen wir hier hin. Are you really smuggling weapons through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know. And by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything. And it's getting worse every day. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... Too long, I guess. I bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden. But I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body back. Das klingt doch viel mal nach einer kleinen Mission. Eine neue Bürgeruntersuchungstruppe für Bürgerträger, bla bla. Muss auch suchen, das machen wir gleich mal. Du kannst eine neue Bürgermission beginnen, wenn du viel verfolgst und dann deine Karte aufrufst. Okay. Ich glaube, ihn sollten wir erstmal leben lassen. Weil sonst Since you're on the front line, offen. how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. 
It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. Okay. Ja, das haben wir jetzt alles gemacht. Persönliche Fragen haben wir noch nicht und und handeln brauchen wir nicht. Kann ich das Plakat anschauen? Ja. Ich wusste die nicht zu. Die Stadt braucht sie leben. Leben, das durch effiziente medizinische Hilfe gerettet wird, ist ein Stich ins der Epidemien. Freiwillige machen den Unterschied. Ja, okay. So, schauen wir nochmal kurz, ob wir irgendwie jemand noch, noch rumkommt. Da sind auf jeden Fall eine ganze Menge. Ah, stopp, die sind alle drin. Okay, geht man noch nicht rein. Wir hinten schauen. Aber hier ist keiner mehr. So, äh, ich gehe mal auf den, auf den Typen. Wenn ich ihn empfinde. Oh, was ist der? Genau, Mödnox. Okay. Stand zwar gerade ab, ach hier. Nee. Ah, hier. Betritt den Garten im Hinterhof. Details. Mit dem Hooks der Krankenhauswahrer des Brambok Hospital erzählt, er wurde während einer Fahrt zum Krankenhaus von einem Patienten angegriffen. Er musste durch den Garten der Einrichtung fliehen. Hat dabei allerdings seine Geldbörse verloren. Der Angreifer muss recht brutal gewesen sein, denn Milton weigert sich zurückzugehen. Vielleicht sollte ich mir den Garten anschauen und herausfinden, was dort vor sich geht. Genau das werden wir machen. Kann ich das hier aktivieren? Wie aktiviere ich das denn? Details. Ach, wir verfolgen, wir verfolgen das schon. Okay. Also gehen wir zum Hinterhof. Wahrscheinlich müssen wir erst komplett durchs Krankenhaus. Nein, auch nicht so wahnsinnig viel Energie. Dr. Swansea ist right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Ja, ich muss halt. Na komm, wir, wir reden fix mit denen, die Folge sind natürlich jetzt sehr viel labern. Kann ich helfen? Wenn du hier zu fixen mein Face. Nein. Ich glaube nicht, du kannst mir helfen. Ich bin Dr. Reed. Ich habe gerade die Position des Position of Head Surgeon hier. War Injuries, am ich right? Du hast recht, Dr. German Shell took my pretty little mug right off. But they still call me Thomas Elwood. Okay, Thomas Elwood, da haben wir doch mal rein. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Told you. It's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. Wouldn't blame you. You don't seem worried by that. The face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. Okay, that's what we're going to here. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. Okay, so viel. Goodbye for now, Mr. Neues haben wir jetzt nicht mitgekriegt. So, schauen wir. Schon Hemden, die kennen wir also schon. Komm ich hier raus. I cannot enter. Okay. 
Ich noch mit Good evening, Mr. Hampton. Ich weiß halt nicht so richtig. Dr. Reed, ist es? Oh, wie ich in den Hof kommen soll, also in diesen Kopf. What do you mean? I was not myself in the factory. Fear and exhaustion made me say awful okay. things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring an abduction? Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Ich weiß, er wollte eigentlich schlafen, aber ich habe Do you know Fragen. Tom Watts, the bartender from the Turtle? I met him before I found you in the canning factory. Tom? Yes, of course. Always the helping hand, good old Tom. Without men like him, corruption and despair would have wiped out the East End long ago. Who should I avoid in this part of town, then? Any particularly evil figures? Not really. Most men and women are just doing their best. And it's not my habit to speak ill of people I know, Doctor. People are still in despair. How could it be otherwise? The authorities have left us all to rot in this contagious nightmare. No drugs, no advice, nothing. It's a damn shame. What is the general situation in the East End docks? The situation has always been tough, with a lot of tensions between the gangs and the Dockers Trade Union. The wet boot boys are very nervous since they lost their leader. Who leads the gang now? Since Clay Cox went missing, it's his wife Edwina who runs the show, with the assistance of her minion, Booth Digby. Ah, also Clay Cox is sozusagen der Gang-Anführer. Wir haben ihn ja verschwunden, das bedeutet, er lebt noch. Vielleicht bringt es irgendwelche Vorteile, mal sehen. Has the gang been threatening you? Ah, no. I have had this nickname for so long, you know, the sad saint of the East End. No one dares to bug a saint, not even criminals. How did you end up in William Bishop's den? I had received alarming news about his recent behavior. I went to his place and he refused to let me go. You dared to enter this awful place alone. You're a hero, Mr. Hampton. Or a fool. I'm just a man trying to help his friends, Dr. Reed. William Bishop was a conflicted soul, searching for life. Why did he abduct you? William was an alcoholic. His addiction suddenly changed to blood. I don't know why. Just like a patient I met here. This Miss Hawcroft. How do you feel, Mr. Hampton? Medically speaking, I mean. I feel exhausted. Beyond exhaustion, actually. William drank so much of my blood in his madness. I feel... empty. You're in good hands here. Dr. Swansea is well versed in blood transfusion, and I'm sure he'll take the best care of you. Thank you, sir. I believe all I need is rest. Then I can go back to the people who need me. What do you do for a living, Mr. Hampton? I can't help but notice the cross around your neck. I manage a night asylum for the poor and homeless of the docks, and I try to guide the lost and hesitant on the right path to our Lord. Why didn't you use your cross against William Bishop? To repel him somehow? That's a very strange question, Doctor. A cross is no magical token, if that's what you were trying to say. Not mine, anyway. Are you a priest, Mr. Hampton? A deacon, maybe? Not at all, Doctor. I'm just a man of faith willing to preach the good word. Have you made friends since you arrived? Not really. But I recognize Miss Harriet Jones. I knew her when she lived by the docks. That poor woman had such a miserable life. You never came to see her here at Pembroke. Receiving visits when sick can be an important part of the healing process, you know. We're not just bodies. You're preaching to the converted now, Doctor. To be truly honest, I thought she was dead. She left the docks many months ago. Goodbye, Mr. Hampton. We'll talk again later. Okay, also dafür, dass er sich mal gesagt hat, dann muss ich erstmal ausruhen. Haben wir ihn natürlich ohne Ende zugelaubt. So, wir reden jetzt noch mit ihr. Dann gehen wir es mal zum Raum. Zum Raum. Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. Die soll ich bei ziemlich blassen. Und wer bist du? Dein Name hat keine Bedeutung für mich, Mortal. 
You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency? Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. I am a vampire. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Howard? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefied, that they are dead, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howard? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. The staff here are not your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me, for I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough for you, puny mortal? What do you require? Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm curious to know who you were before becoming a vampire. No, it was such a long time ago, I don't remember. Centuries of unholy life can have strange effects on one's minds, you see? No. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. What do we have to say? Als wir haben, Theorie ist zumindest noch mehr Vampir. So, jetzt gehen jetzt aber erstmal in unsere Büro. Ja, Krankenschwestern werden jetzt gebraucht im Namen der Barmherzigkeit. Sie verlassen sich auf, auf sie. Krankenschwestern werden jetzt gebraucht. Melden Sie sich beim nächsten Registrierungsbüro des Ministeriums für Arbeit und Wehrdienst. Oder also schreiben Sie an 15 King Waste London. Okay. So, also wir müssen eine Etage hoch. Und nach links. Machen natürlich erstmal kurz einen Abstecher hier rein, weil man weiß ja nie. Was haben wir hier noch? Okay, haben wir noch eine Säge gefunden. Hier war auch noch was. Okay, die müssen wir uns erstmal angucken. Uff, ähm. Ach, das ist der Typ von unten gewesen mit dieser komischen Granatenverletzung. Ich würde sagen. Ende der Liste ist jetzt kurz vor oder ich lese beim nächsten Mal einfach dann vor. Die nehmen wir erstmal mit. Auf jeden Fall neue Hinweise. Denn ich würde jetzt eigentlich gerne erstmal in unser Büro gehen. Da ist bestimmt It's zu. Locked, all right. Moment. This must be the place. Da war It's was da raus. Away from prying eyes. Okay. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. <lacht> so, gehen wir auf alle auffüllen. Ich glaube, wir haben überhaupt gar nichts verwendet. 
So, wir schauen uns mal unser Büro an. Waschbecken, Untersuchungsbank. Ja, nochmal etwas. So, machen wir hier auf. Artikel über Ecken. Also hier haben wir auch. Na, das nächste Mal haben wir hier viel noch zu lesen. So, schauen wir, was haben wir The flower is dying. It needs water. Okay, hier haben wir Aufgabe. Hier werden wir das nächste Mal starten. Aber ich gehe jetzt erstmal schlafen, speichern und dann sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge wieder. Oder Moment, was haben wir drüben noch? Nichts. Von daher, vielen Dank fürs Zusehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Macht's gut. Ciao.